Hello, I'm Mike. I'm here with my Dyson Ball Multi-Floor 2 vacuum. It is a great vacuum. But one of the things I notice is that it's hard to move on some carpet. Let me demonstrate. Thanks, Mike. I'm going to demonstrate the before. push it, but it's hard to move. So that was hard to move. I'm going to unplug it and then uh, I'll do a quick install of the solution. Take off the cleaner head and then just do my install. Hi there. That's it. Put the C clip back on. So it clicks. It's ready to go. Just need to plug it in. And away we go. It worked a lot better. Back to you, Mike. Okay, let's take a, a look at how I solved the problem with moving on carpet. So I took the cleaner head off of the vacuum. I removed the sole plate from the vacuum. And the sole plate has three main components. There's an upper plastic piece that connects to the cleaner head, a bottom plastic piece that goes on the surface of the floor, and then a black rubber membrane that goes around and creates that vacuum seal. So when it's on the carpet, it just bogs down and it doesn't allow air to flow in. So my solution is to put O-rings on the front two tabs. And these are perfectly sized O-rings. And what they do is it holds up that bottom piece and it allows for air to flow in. And then you can move the device on carpet. So the O-rings are available on a website that I have that is in the link of the description of the video. Thank you. Well, thanks for watching. I will make the solution available for people that want to order. So I will uh, send the solution, the fix, some instructions, put it into an envelope and mail it to you. So thank you for your time. Hopefully this will work as well for you as it has for me. Thank you very much.